Hi, Pam here, your own personal fitness trainer. So today we're going to be doing a shoulder and arms combo workout. So go ahead and get your gear on because we're going to start that in just a minute. Alright, this is a dumbbell shoulder press. So what I'm going to do and what I want you to do is you're going to perform two sets of these in a row and anywhere from 8, 10 to 12 reps. So this is my first set. And you see I'm pressing them up overhead there. Have them in a hammer grip. All right, so I don't rest long at all, just a few seconds or so, and there I go my second set. It's getting hard because I didn't, I didn't rest. Uh, and I end up doing eight reps, and then until I go into the next group, you're going to rest anywhere from 60 seconds to two minutes. I rested 60. All right, I'm doing a dumbbell front raise and I'm holding them in a hammer grip. Same thing, eight, 10, or 12 reps, whatever you can do. Getting the front of my delts, front of my shoulders. All right, just a little bit, few seconds. There we go again, second set. So I'm gonna get very fatigued, my muscles. Doing what I can here. And after this set, I will rest again a minute and then I will go on to the next exercise. I think as time went on, I had to rest a little longer, but not more than two minutes. All right, I'm doing a reverse fly, and I only have five pound weights. Due to the position of it and um, doing the other exercises, okay, you can see that my knees are bent a bit. I'm not completely down. I am down somewhat, as you can see. Try to be aware of keeping your back in the right position. Yeah, those are hard. Slight rest, and there I'm going again. And remember, this, this whole workout is get, targeting shoulders and your arms.
All right, 60 seconds. All right, this is the Dumbbell Cuban Press. And you do want to use a lighter set of dumbbells for these. I'm using eight pounds. And it's going to catch your arms everywhere. So, as you can see, um, you're, I'm standing holding a pair of light dumbbells in front of my thighs with an overhand grip and I draw the weights up in front of my body, keeping them close to my torso and bending my elbows until my upper arms are parallel to the floor. And then, without moving my upper arms or elbows, you rotate your forearms until they point upward and then you press the weight overhead and then you slowly reverse the move. It's a great exercise. It'll work everything of your arms and shoulders. All right, there. Yeah, before I go the next set, you don't want to rest too long. Yeah, it's getting hard. Last set. You really need to look in the mirror so you can see how you're doing it and that you're meeting all the stops. So make sure you check yourself out in the mirror so you can see what you're doing. And uh, I did 10 reps here. So, I hope you enjoy that workout. I'm telling you, I'm feeling it everywhere. My muscles are burning right now. So anyway, and I like doing things like that too, because so I don't get bored with working out. I like to mix it up. And it's good to mix it up. So anyway, I hope um, you enjoyed that, and you're mixing it up as well. So anyway, uh, until next time, and if you have any questions, let me know there. And till next time, I'll see ya.